In this video, I'll demonstrate how to create a terrain model from an ASCII file in OpenRose Designer. I'm going to open a DGN file, a clean DGN. This one is in 3D. Um, it doesn't have to be. I'm going to select from my tabs the terrain tab at the top here. And here's how to create a terrain. I'm going to go to additional methods and select create terrain model from ASCII file. I'm going to select the ASCII file that I want to create the terrain from. And before I can go ahead and import it, I can create a text import settings file in which I'm going to tell it the type of format that I have and I'm going to define my columns the delimiter in this case I have space and for example I can say skip the point number skip the northing uh, label and I can click on the skip here and say this is my northing column this is my easting column and I'm just clicking on the column header here and this is my elevation. Uh, you can move through and go to filters and uh, different options. I'm just going to go ahead and say finish here. It's going to prompt me to save it as an XML file. And you can give it a name and click save. I already have mine saved. So I'm going to close that and I'm going to say finish here. Actually, it's not letting me. I'm going to just go ahead and say save. I want to replace it. Yes. So back to the original dialog. I can come here and say, do you want to reproject this? Um, good geographical coordinates. You can do that. Add to an existing terrain model if you already have one. Uh, I'm going to select a feature definition, uh, existing triangles in my case. And here's the... Uh, XML file that we just created from the text import wizard. I'm going to tell it to remove slivers and I'm going to click import. I see in the background that my triangles were created or my terrain was created. I'm going to close this and now I can look at my terrain. I can select it. I can do a properties on it. Uh, turn on triangles or contours or turn them off, spots, and I can see all my information here for the terrain model. Thank you very much.